I think uh, generative AI is coming to brokerage, wealth management, asset management in a very big way. Uh, and, and not just people talking about ideas, but actual products are starting to find their way into people's practices. I think the main takeaway that I had was that there's two ways this could go. People from the technology realm have this belief system where all of a sudden AI is going to replace human fill in the blank, accountants, lawyers, doctors, financial advisors. Obviously, it never works out that way. That instinct is always wrong. What I think you're going to see in reality is AI tools being purpose built to help advisors scale up, serve more clients, and do a much better job for their existing clients. That's where the trend seems to be headed, and that's what I wrote about at downtownjoshbrown.com. And I think we're just at the very, very early innings of a huge revolution coming to Wall Street. And I'm sure Scott will talk about that throughout the course of this year. Well, I mean, it, it all depends on what sort of services I suppose you're looking for and also the degree to which, you know, the type of assets that you have and the level of, of them for certain. For example, Yes. Goldman Sachs, for example, I think the average person there has, you know, $40 million of investable assets, okay? Uber wealthy people who Probably are never going to let, who, who yes. gonna let, I think that's the average, who are never going to let robots make decisions for them because their wealth planning and wealth management involves so many other things beyond just picking stocks and sectors and this, that, and the other thing. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's taxes, it's um, estate planning, it's a whole thing. But I, I mean, I, I could conceivably think that at the lower level of the investment scale, it may have a more, more dramatic impact. I think that's exactly right, Scott. And I would take it a step further. When, when we were talking about the robo-revolution 12, uh, 12 years ago, in 2012, Betterment and Wealthfront hit the scene, and then Vanguard and Schwab said they were going to build a robo-product. Um, we were talking about it, that in terms of it's an industry takeover. That's not actually what happened. What happened was the robo-revolution enabled people who didn't have access to quality financial advice to finally have a platform that would be better than the industry standard. The industry standard financial advisor for somebody with 50 grand 12 years ago was an insurance guy selling them an annuity. So the robo-revolution worked. It didn't take any money from, from the high end. Uh, and, and honestly, at this point, I think we all know it's never going to. It's already been too long for that to ever happen. This will play out the same way. There will be some B2C AI tools that get embedded at places like Fidelity Schwab. Nobody with a straight face thinks that a rich person wants to talk to a robot about his problems. Uh, it doesn't happen in the legal realm, doesn't happen in medicine, certainly not going to happen here. So AI will be transformative, but only for firms that are willing to pair AI with experience and wisdom and, and personality and the types of people who thrive in wealth management already. I would look at it as augmenting what financial planners do, not replacing.